Uh, design started in 1943 under the direction of the Australian. Uh, he wasn't a sir at, the ta at that stage, but he was uh, became Sir Claude Gibb. But it was mainly William Robotham who championed the engine and the tank, trying to get the war office to figure out what they actually wanted. He, uh, as we said previously in our previous episode, he ended up having to quit a few times before they actually started to try to build a good tank. Um, every time he quit, they'd have to drag him back in and they'd actually start listening to him again. Now, you know, we've spoken particularly in the Cromwell episode about the um, terrible influence of uh, Viscount Nuffield on British mid-war tank production. Um, and it's significant from about 1943 when the writing was on the wall for the fascists, Nuffield um, stopped meddling in British industrial policy and suddenly good tanks just appeared out of nowhere. All right, uh, it was built, it was designed to have enough armour to withstand a hit from a 88mm gun from the front. Uh, but with a 40 ton weight limit, uh, but they only had a 40 ton weight limit to, to like, that they could make the tank out of because that was the weight limit on the transport trailers uh, that they were using. Um, eventually they realized that they would not uh, build something to withstand an 88 at 40 tons. So came to the amazing conclusion to build bigger transport trailers, uh, getting I, them to I, up to 45 and then 50 tons. I love how at this stage in the war, the British were suddenly like, you know what, we don't need to be limited by things. We, we can design other things.